this fantastic just from one little container of seashell. Look at that. Welcome to Keep On Growing, where we make gardening easy and affordable so that everyone can grow their own food. Now, if you're new around here, you probably saw some unconventional ways of growing, and that's because we experiment with a lot of different things. See, people have different perspectives on all kinds of subjects, and one of them here is the use of plastic. Now, I love hydroponics because that was an easy way for me to grow. Now, I'm not here one way or the other to say what you should believe or what you should do. I just want you to grow your own food. So, we try a lot of different things. And the people that have been here for a while, we've kind of been on a roller coaster up and down, going between traditional hydroponics, which uses a lot of plastic, and more recently, we've been using natural materials like wood and glass and even bioplastics. So a lot of people said, I like the idea of hydroponics, but there's too much plastic. Can't you do it with less? Now, I took that as a challenge because the people that don't mind using plastic, there's loads of information out there for them. You know, include my channel where I've been doing it for over seven years. But then I always felt like we were leaving the people that were concerned about it by the wayside. So when I started getting into it and researching and looking it up, trying to figure out different ways, I found out about bioplastics, which unlike normal plastics can be composted. Some are even biodegradable that you can put in your compost at home. I didn't know that they made bags that were biodegradable. So there's a lot of cool stuff. There's different things that we're experimenting with and I want everyone to grow. So uh, I went through a little radical change. I took all of my plastic buckets, all of my downspouts, all of my hydroponics and I got rid of it. And some people who have been following me for a little while freaked out a little bit, but they don't understand my thought process. And to do things more natural, I've tried it for many years, and I've always fallen back onto my old habits because they were there. It was so easy, and it was readily available when I was trying the natural stuff, and it wasn't working. I wanted food to grow, so I just fell back on it. So... I got rid of all of it started doing the natural thing and i love it i love experimenting with different things finding out about you know things i never knew before um having new things to work with and now that we've got our garden going it's got this zen feeling it's all kind of natural things bioplastics biodegradable wood glass and still having lots of food to eat it's really incredible. So in my heart, I know it's possible. I know I can do it and I'm having fun. I'm excited about it. So I know that I'll carry on with it. So now I think it's time I'm going to go ahead and the people that don't mind plastic, I'm going to come back and show them how to do that. There was a lot of interest in the tower gardens, the ones made out of five gallon buckets because the commercial ones were, you know, about a thousand dollars and you can get a couple of buckets for less than 20 bucks, right? So I'm going to show people how to build it start to finish, show you how we can do it without pumps. Basically a tower garden is a plastic tube with a pump and that's it you know some of them have lights some of them have timers you know different things like that but things you can do without so when you really break it down it's a big plastic tube with a pump now mine i'm going to show you how to do it where you don't even need the pump so we're talking about a plastic tube 
So, you know, five gallon buckets are perfect. We're going to explain all of that. We're going to show you guys how to put them together. We're going to grow food in it. And at the same time, I'm going to be trying to make some with natural materials using the same principles. So if we can figure that out, that'd be cool. Then that way we have something for everyone. The people that don't mind plastic, who want to do it cheap and easy, they can do it with buckets. The people that don't mind spending money can go out and just buy a commercial product and grow lots of food. That's cool. The people that want to put in a little bit of extra work and want more natural materials and realize it's going to cost a little bit more to buy natural supplies to do it, they'll have an option. And the people that like traditional gardening and like all the work that goes into that and, and, and like getting their hands dirty and the blood, sweat, and tears of, of growing a natural garden, that's awesome too. So this channel is all about options. I don't really care what you believe, what you want to do. That's a personal choice. All I'm concerned about is that everyone's out there growing their own food. All right, I hope that that inspires you and makes you feel like inspiring others. That's why we say live to inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time.